There have been major changes in military training regimes from the First World War to the present. One of the most interesting shifts is the shift from the sort of anonymous mass drills to something that is much more about trying to foster group cohesion and a sense of group identity. The other thing about military training is, okay, you can train men to kill in wartime, but what happens when they come back? There's real concerns, for example, about men who don't necessarily break down in the front lines, but break down when they come home. This is something that has really interested and concerned people after every war. What do we do with our young men, and indeed young women, when they come back from war?